Yeah, so in our medical weight loss clinic, we have uh, the, the review um, metabolic tester. It tells us how many calories your body burns at rest in a day. So with that information, we take that, we take that information, we set a, a diet according to how many calories your body burns in a day. It's simple. It's, it's, yeah, it's very, very easy. Um, the, the, uh, the test takes about 10 minutes. The clients feel like they're, you know, they feel like they're getting a, a really good assessment. They're all interested in what their metabolic rate is. Testing someone's metabolic rate is just key to find those few people who, who lie outside the norm, who have slow metabolic rates. They're frustrated, they're upset because they can never ever lose weight. I had a client uh, who exercised nonstop, dieted, just an incredible diet, cut her calories so low, um, but through this process had dropped her metabolism to just a very low rate. Uh, it wasn't until she came to our clinic, we checked her metabolism with the review, um, that we found out that she had a really low metabolism. Once we found that out, we were able to increase weightlifting, increase the, uh, exercise that, that will increase her metabolic rate, put her on a, put her on a diet that uh, was in a range for her to lose weight and she had a lot of success. But unless we were able to use the review, find out what her metabolic rate is, we would have never known that. My story was I was hospitalized for surgery. I woke up on life support due to being too obese to have the procedure done. And from that point, I decided I was gonna lose weight. I hired a trainer. The trainer put me on a 1600 calorie diet. I only lost eight pounds that month. I found the core calorimeter, changed my calories to 2,400 calories per day, and I lost 86 pounds in the last eight months. A trainer had me on a 1,600 calorie diet. The core metabolic analyzer put me on a 2,400 calorie diet because everybody's body composition is different. My metabolism burns faster than a 1,600 calorie diet. With the 1,600 calorie diet the trainer had me on, I lost eight pounds in a month. With the 2400 calorie diet the review had me on, I lost 28 pounds the next month. Needing to eat 2400 calories versus 1600 calories was a big surprise to me. Never would have thought I had to eat more calories to lose weight more comfortably. Being able to do things with my family such as ride a roller coaster, fit in an airplane without using a belt extension, and just overall health, being happy, jolly, and being able to travel much more efficiently. I'm Julie Kofed. I'm a registered nurse and vice president of marketing at Core Medical Technologies. At Core, we manufacture products for both fitness and medical applications. The CardioCoach and MediCheck are intended for fitness assessments and non-medical applications, and the review is FDA approved for making medical decisions. Within medicine, any physician who is seeking to improve a patient's health by treating obesity will benefit from the FDA approved review. Obese patients with cardiovascular disease, hypertension, diabetes or pre-diabetic state, thyroid disorders, and sleep disorders will all have an improved quality of life and an increased lifespan when the appropriate measures are taken to decrease their weight. Studies show that a short three to five minute conversation during routine visits can contribute to behavior change and that patients are three times more likely to try to lose weight when the advice comes from their physician. The RMR test engages the patients in that three minute conversation as it opens their eyes as to what is really going on inside their own body. It allows the doctor to screen for any patients who might actually have a slow metabolism. And for the majority of us, it eliminates any excuses for why we can't lose weight because it shows us just how many calories we really do burn in a day. In addition to the initial screening, an RMR test should be repeated. It's important to evaluate the effect that a weight loss program may be having on a client's metabolic rate. We've all heard of the dreaded weight loss plateau. Well, that is most likely caused by a decrease in RMR that needs to be adjusted for. Maintenance is another crucial time to measure RMR. After a significant weight loss, regardless of the method, your metabolic rate is likely to be depressed lower than your lean body mass would indicate. Now, studies suggest that it will eventually rise back up to where it should be, but during those first few months that decreased RMR makes it very easy to gain weight. Monitoring it closely to assist your patient to stay on track is key to successful maintenance. Now I'd actually like to show you just how easy it is to do a resting metabolic rate test with a core product. It has self-calibrated 
actually a really unique feature of a core metabolic analyzer. And it keeps it extremely accurate, more accurate than anything else out there on the market. By the way, did I mention that it is CPT coded for reimbursement, reimbursed by Medicare and most insurance companies out there? I'm gonna, gonna extend the MetaBreather and connect it to the opening and then have Allie put it in her mouth and make a nice seal around the edges. By putting the nose clip on, we assure that all the air she breathes out goes into the box and then we can assess just how much oxygen she's consumed. She can relax either in a sitting or lying position and after about 10 minutes, it'll beep and let us know that the test was complete. That's all there is to it. When the test is complete, you simply take these things down, enter in some basic data, and then the results print out. This printout makes explaining the results to your patients a breeze.